No more change of stations, you came to the right place. Turn off your televisions, they'll just get in the way. It's time to get to the point on 1073. Likes is on the air with locals only. Central Kentucky's Rock Station 1073, the point locals only Sunday night. And got a big show coming up. Hardin County wants you to get uh, at least up the road to Shepherdsville. Alan Ashbaugh presenting Metal Fest. This is Metal Fest 4, but it's not all metal. It's not all metal this Not year. all metal. F cancer. F cancer. For a good cause. Let's talk about that. All right. Uh, this coming weekend, we've got uh, four venues going. Um, we're going to be rocking out in all different genres of music. Uh, everything from hip-hop to metal. we got country. We've got rock and roll. We've got a little bluegrass. Uh, we got some acoustic acts going on. Um, you know, you have to get to the event page and find out where your favorite band's playing or, or your favorite genre. But uh, yeah, this is my fourth one. We're trying to do big things. There's 67 acts on this bill, um, and we're all screaming at F Cancer as loud as we can. That's right, F Cancer. Yeah. And uh, one of the things you did this year versus just Shepherdsville. It's branched out in different places. It has. Uh, all we, the different places you're doing it. Let's talk about that. Yes. Uh, uh, Friday and Saturday night at Union Station. Uh, Friday night, I've got Billtown Road and uh, a band that jumped on today, Eager and Willing, uh, Bourbon Country. They're, uh, they're ready to rock out. That's some good country rock. Uh, that's stuff that's not going to let you sit down. You're going to be up out of your seats dancing with them country folks, and that's good stuff. Saturday night at uh, Union Station, we've got Lost River Cavemen coming in, the Dangerous Liaisons, that dude, Alex. Uh, dig it and we've also got my addiction who's a new band coming to the scene who i think people are really going to enjoy that that's a cram pack saturday at union station cram pack friday night we're gonna have a good time with that saturday up at brewski's we've got uh you know we got the four hour sound check that dude alex is coming all the way from union station back over there that kid's gonna be running his tail off that day uh these are just acoustic acts uh, good stuff people in their guitar mm-hmm. just sending a message out uh, let's say you're into the hip hop side of things. You want to hear something more like some rock and soul, something with some blues to it, down to actual rap. Irish Exit up New Albany, Indiana. We've got 27 of the hottest things that's bouncing around the 502. My buddies from Zebra and Public, they're coming down from Cincinnati. You like Sublime? You want to check these guys out. Mm-hmm. They have that rock and soul. You're going to love it, I'm telling you. And then, of course, there's Shepherdsville, which uh, four years ago we started this thing up. Four years ago, my buddy Jeremy was at the show, and it was supposed to be a great party for him, and uh, we started something pretty cool that year, and as I went to build the second one, uh, Jeremy No, who's from right here in Hardin County, uh, lost his battle to cancer May 2nd, two days after his 30th birthday, and uh, the metal scene kind of took a loss and a hit by it, and uh, they come back real hard at me with Metal Fest 2, Havoc on the Farm. Um, we drew a great crowd, great times, and we made a little something known, and that's how we feel, and it's F Cancer. You know, I'm not going to say we'll be screaming at the show, but it's F Cancer. No, you'll be screaming at the show. I'll F be cancer. screaming at the show, <laughs> but it'll be a little more vulgar. <laughs> So, but, uh, you know, it's a metal scene, but don't let that fool you off. Phantom Fireworks has donated a huge amount to blow up the night skies for us. Weather permitting, we get a little bit of rain to uh, dampen things down, which is pretty cool. Um, Boondocks is not up serving alcohol, but they will be serving food. And this is a BYOB thing, but I will have security checking youngsters coolers. So don't come out there and try to ruin a good thing for a lot of good people. If you're young and you think this is the place to come sneak off to to get drunk, uh-uh. Uh-uh, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Think about all the people you'd be hurting if we, you got caught, if we got caught. So yeah. uh, think about that. It, it's private venue, uh, 21, and, 21 and older for the booze. It, it's, it's, it is. 21 and over for the booze. We will be watching that really closely. Um, but it is an all-ages event. You know, I do have some sack races going on, some mm-hmm. uh, hula hoops going on contests. I'm hoping that uh, this water gun thing's going to come through. That'll be fun. We get everybody out there shooting water guns at each other. Um, so bring your family, bring your tents. This is a camping all ages event. You know, we're out here trying to on the same page and, uh, bring a fishing pole. Yeah. Um, bring a feet. No, no guns, (laughs) (laughs) but Hey, you know, hype me up on another day. Um, boondocks is kind of hard to find. Uh, you can look up the MF4 Jeremy no event or cancer fighting weekend event page and get directions to it. Um, you can also look Alan Ashbaugh up on, on Facebook and uh, hit me up on a message. Uh, I'll take the time to talk to anybody, and I'll get you the directions you need. It's out in the country. It is it's, out in the, country, the country. But that man. comes with some specialties. You yeah, know, right. uh, we can get a little louder. We that's can stay right. a little later and party a little longer. So, that's uh, right. 
And, uh, you know, we're throwing the tents up so nobody has to drive drunk. Stay with me and crash out. Right. So event's going to be going on there Friday night, of course, there. And that gets all underway. Uh, band line up on Friday night. Uh, we're going to start off about 8 o'clock, 8.30, I think, with uh, Left in Despair. If you don't know these guys, these kids are young, veteran style. Come out just they're going to show us up, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. And I set my standard pretty high with these guys because, you know, I want this show to be – I won't. I don't want these guys coming out there playing like it's a show. This is mm-hmm. this is fighting cancer. And, and I know the guys that I've brought with me and a few other of these bands, that's the only thing they're coming to do. They're coming to give the best they can give because of the cause behind this. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. You know, people, if, if y'all want to come out to see some bands throw down for a cause, not because you're there, they're throwing down to fight cancer, we just appreciate you being there. That's right. That's right. So uh, – of course, we got Jordan here from Sever This Illusion. What's up, guys? And uh, back off the road. Yes. Big tour. Big- it was. It was. It was pretty big. We went out to the West Coast, uh, out to Washington for the most part. Played in uh, Seattle. We played in Portland. We played in uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Idaho. Yes, yeah. that's kind of on the way. If you take that road to Missoula, Highway yeah. 90 across. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's where yeah. we took okay. back home. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. So. yeah it was. Uh, it was definitely. Uh, Great, great experience. It blew my expectations out of the water. And that's the first time you've been on the road. Yes, it was. For all of us. Well, before I was in, they went on a week tour to uh, California. But how long was this? This was longer than that. This was about two weeks. About two weeks. Okay. And then we have another tour that we're planning right now from starts in September in Bowling Green at Berlin's. Okay. Yep. And how long is that going to take you on the road? We'll probably be out for a month and a half. Okay, and you're on the road with uh, Straight Line Stitch. Yes, we were uh, on the road with Straight Line Stitch. Uh, those are those are our good buddies now. Yeah, they're good buddies. Yes, now, huh? cool. Good good friends of ours. And everything everything. What was the, what was the, your biggest surprise being on the road for uh, two weeks? Uh, you know, just something that you just went, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> the biggest surprise was for me that I got a shower every night. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Yeah. I got a shower every night. Yeah, shower I wasn't night. expecting yeah. that at all. I was like, I'm going to not have a shower for two weeks. But I got one just about every night. That's appreciating. The yeah, that's, yeah, that's 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 some, yeah. yeah, that's that, that's very much appreciating yeah. a shower being on the yeah. road. Yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, other than that, just the scenery. The scenery was ridiculously beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like, and it wasn't 100 degrees. It wasn't. It was 65 <laughs> degrees the whole time. It was awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> it was 110 here and it was 65 there. Yeah. No humidity. So tell us a little bit about the journey out. So when you were about ready to take off, you had a little issue. Yeah, uh, our van issue uh, fell through. So on the day that we were supposed to leave for the tour, so we ended up having to uh, just tough it out and drive our personal vehicles, which was a Kia Sportage and a Dodge Dakota all the way across the country. But they both worked fine, perfectly fine. It actually saved us a little bit of money on gas. But that's uh, definitely not traveling in a van altogether. So, no. I mean, it, 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 it would be probably a little more fun to be traveling together versus two guys. You had two guys driving the whole yeah, time then, the that, two. It was, that got a little rough because we were driving sometimes at 24 hours at a time, and people were getting tired, you know, and they got a little <laughs> dangerous at points. So. Yeah. <laughs> when you say, oh, there's a deer. No, that wasn't a deer. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't a deer. It was elk. 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 Oh, yeah, moose. on Highway 90. Yeah, yeah there, we saw some elk up on yeah, Highway we 90. We went through yeah. Colorado, and that yeah, was a little yeah. sketchy. Yeah, that was that a little is, sketchy. Some, that, was, that, that, that was a deer. That's, oh, that's an elk. Oh, that thing's <laughs> huge, man. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, let, you guys uh, writing any new stuff right now? Are you? We are. We're also, we're also uh, playing new stuff live. If you uh, come out and check us out, we're playing the, uh, the uh, F, F Cancer, Cancer Metal Fest 4, Saturday the 21st. I think you guys are on at 5.50. 5.50. I'm correct about yep. that. So 5.50. Come on out here. See Sever This Illusion. That's coming up Saturday. F Cancer Metal Fest 4. Let's do Feast for the Eyes. Yes. All right. We'll do that. It is locals only. Central Kentucky's Rock Station 107.3 The Point. <laughs> Talk 
Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 107.3 The Point, locals only Sunday nights. And uh, Alan Ashbaugh in the studio. And uh, big, big fight for cancer coming up this weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday. And uh, some folks you want to thank, of course, that have helped you out with this. Uh, big causes in Shepherdsville up in New Albany and uh, different locations, Union Station. Yeah, uh, I definitely want to show a shout out to all the venues. Um, Ernie Tennell with the Boondocks. It's got kind of, they've, and this is their fourth year of hosting this thing. Um, and, and after the first year and ripping the bathroom sink off the wall, I mean, it was sketchy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But uh, it's a great show. Uh, the metalheads are great people. I love every one of them to come down there. Don't rip the sink off the wall. Don't rip the <laughs> sink off the wall, guys. It's just uh, the duct tape is not holding anymore, so no. it's kind of fragile. But, uh, you know, um, I want to thank Mike Taylor. He has been out there every year throwing the best sound he can do for us. He's a great PA man. He handles his business correctly and uh, couldn't do the show without him. Um Cody, uh, Chris Valentine for being supporters of me for a long time, uh, backing me up all this way. Um, uh, uh, Rod Mack, uh, E-flat, them guys are doing the sound up at Irish Exit in New Albany. They need to AGE and, uh, Entertainment for uh, helping us out with stages. Uh, Derby City Tent Rentals, uh, can, you know, throwing canopies over above us. I got to thank them guys. Oh, the point one hundred seven point three. The point. This is uh, your second time. Um, yeah, I came out the two. Yeah. I, the two I came out to, um, and uh, I was wondering when you had it last year. <laughs> yeah, uh, last year was a uh, kind of a big show for me too. Yeah. Uh, I tackled on thirty nine bands, and we pulled thirty eight off. But uh, yeah, there you go. That was uh, definitely a, a, a feat for me. 
me. I was pretty honored to have that. Um, in fact, it was so big last year, we had to do a pre-metal fest. Um, yeah. And it's actually because of Trevor from Sever the Illusion that pushed me to make that extra day of bands just wanting to fight. Right. It's incredible how the metal scene's retaliated against cancer. I mean, this is my fourth year, and I'm tell- I had to turn down 200. I'll get to y'all later. But you know what I mean? I mean, it's out there. We're all on the same page. Um, Union Station, the fur, wanted to jump in on this and hosting another part that's not metal. You know what I mean? To right, let, sure. let me try the country rock and blues out with them. Um, for Irish Exit, you know, they wanted metal up there. But when I told them, you know, hey, we've got this great hip hop scene, you know, that wants to fight this and I need a great venue and you're holding it. They was all aboard on it. So, yeah. you know, they're they're flipping for me, too. And that's pretty cool. Um Brewskis, you know, I'm, I'm fixing to pack that place with some great acoustic acts, and that's where I think a lot of talent for a lot of musicians and a lot of people that like the local scene, you know, listen to a man and his guitar. You know, even if it's some metal band you're sitting down with, and 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 Tommy Martin playing his guitar and getting some old, you know, song going in my oh, head. And I have all kinds of acoustic people come in the studio and record just with two microphones, and they just do it. That's all they got. Right. And I, I, mean, I just have a lot of fun with them actually coming in and being able to mix them and. Just take the songwriter stuff and do that. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's about a story. You know, yeah. everybody's got a story to tell, and uh, sometimes it's cool to sit down and just listen to him just clear his day and how he feels out of his heart playing that guitar. Mm-hmm. It's, it's pretty neat. So, uh, you know, I want to thank all them guys that are playing. Uh, I've got 68 acts, and it's just hard to name them all. Uh, Matt Contraband Sturgeon, Todd Enough said Sturgeon, these guys are uh, really pushing hard. Um, Grandshaw, hey, this is their second year for playing this show. Uh, a lot of bands, Severed Illusion, this is their third year. A lot of bands are coming back as as repeats and uh, and supporting me on this fight. And uh, you know, I need to thank all of them. You know, because without these guys giving their talent and their energy, there is no show. You yeah. know what I mean? And I don't know anything other way to raise money except for have a show. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I need to thank all of them. And uh, you know, there's a handful of us that have been there or will be. To all four MFs and, uh, you know, those guys, Chris Justice and Daniel Finley and, you know, there's a special place for them guys, you know, who've been there four years in grueling hot heat and and not going to miss it. I mean, I know... F cancer. F cancer, man. F cancer. People do the polar bear plunge. I mean, can't we just suffer in the heat as metalheads together? Yeah, the the, the polar bear. I don't think that lake's going to be that cool. That <laughs> hey, that's even better. We'll just jump in to cool off. <laughs> Jordan here from Sever This Illusion. And uh, you guys writing some new stuff right now? You, you yes, say about that? Uh, how many songs you got written? Uh, right now we have about five songs written. Okay. Um, we are planning. I think we're going to do an EP first, honestly. We're okay. gonna do an EP before a full length, and then we'll probably use uh, the EP will be recorded here, most likely between here and September before we hit the road again. Okay. And whenever we hit the road again, it's everywhere. It's from Florida to Texas, up to Washington, to California, and back. Uh, you're gonna hope to have the van working at this yes. point. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely for sure. Or just buy a new one. Either way. Uh, a new ending. Now these songs were written. They weren't they written basically before you got in the band. They were written before I was in the band. Yes. Okay, but you play this one out a fair yes. amount of a fair amount of shows yes. and, and, and every every night. Every night. Every so. night. So let's check it out. It's Sever This Illusion. It's a new ending. Locals only. Central Kentucky's Rock Station 107.3 The Point.
Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 1073 The Point. And, uh, of course, uh, coming up this Friday and Saturday, uh, several bands playing F Cancer. That's what it's all about. Presented by Alan Ashbaugh. He's uh, in the studio with us tonight. And uh, it's also uh, in tied in with with uh, the Jimmy V Foundation. Correct. What it is is uh, I'm going to give all net proceeds, whatever it don't cost to build the show, we'll go straight to the Jimmy V Foundation. Um, what I plan on doing, which with all my doors except for the boondocks right now because it, we are just using the location, uh, at the end of the night my door is going to hand the money over to the venue owner, who in return will write us a check for the Jimmy V Foundation. Right. Uh, and at the bottom, at the bottom where it says four, MF4, the Jeremy No Cancer Fighting Weekend. So, uh, you know, we've got our doors locked down. Um, they're going to be getting our checks. Hopefully, you know, we'll mail them out Monday morning. We're rocking this thing out and make a little notice, you know, for our not just uh, not just the local scene, but uh, my buddy and y'all's buddies who've all been affected by cancer. You know what mm. I mean? Just know that here in the Louisville scene, and even outskirts, Bowling Green, Cincinnati, we've got a few coming up from town, you know, going to the town. We're all we're all on the same page. F cancer, F cancer, F cancer. You want to? We want to find some way to, to solve the problem of cancer and 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 move forward with this because this is a thing that affects everybody's lives. Yeah, for I mean, years. For I years. mean, and I it, it would be it would just be a wonderful day that we could say, hey, can't we're done with cancer? We're done. We, with we, it. we, we fixed this. But until this happens, you know, I feel like. Uh, you know, I'm here, and I'm, I plan on keeping fighting this every year as long as I'm able and willing to do this. This is uh, – I feel a calling for me. I've, I've had a good time doing it. Um, I enjoy the, the, the stories, uh, listening to people who have survived. I've got a special guest coming in this year, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really not trying to give away just yet, but, uh, you know, bring your handkerchief because it's a story about not giving up, you know. And uh, when people don't give up, miracles sometimes happen. So uh, MF4 is just the start of something not giving up. And maybe we can one day provide that miracle for some kid, some old person, some Mm -hmm. medication that helps something. Who knows? Bo from Grandshaw here. He hasn't talked yet. What's (laughs) up? He's over the corner. Grandshaw in the house. Grandshaw in the house. Tell us a little about, you haven't been up here on this station before. No, Tell me a little no. bit about Grandshaw. You're from Bowling Green. Bowling Green, uh, I'm the only one actually from Bowling Green, but everybody else is from the Glasgow area. Okay. But uh, we've done uh, several shows for uh, The Point down there in Glasgow with Bratcher. Okay. And uh, always have a good time. But Grandshaw, it's uh, about brutality. It's about, uh, you know, pretty much listening to the music and wanting to punch somebody in the face after you get done. You know, and, and we hope that you do, because we hope that you do it in the name of Grandshaw. You know, so you proclaim that as you throw the punch. And, you know, some people were like, man, he yelled Grandshaw right before he hit me. What the hell is that? Yeah. I'm going to Google that. And then, bam, another fan. <laughs> another fan. Yeah. But uh, but it's all about this weekend. It's about. Yeah, it's all about MF4 and fighting cancer. My mom yeah. is a cancer survivor. She had mm-hmm. breast cancer. She's uh, been cancer free for over 30 years yeah, and awesome. um, helped to keep it that way for forever and uh we're in it you know to we're in it to win it we want to uh help punch out cancer you know, we, for Grant i Shaw, mean i mean you. yeah i mean in the name of Grant Shaw, I, punch I, out cancer. I rebuke you in the name no uh but uh <laughs> but no uh this is our second year doing it and we love alan we love uh everything he does he's a great friend of ours and uh you know we're glad to be playing with Severed this illusion played with them a couple years ago and uh you know they're great guys great music you know all the bands you know i, I can't you know, be more prouder that the music scene, you know, the Kentucky music scene, the Kentucky metal scene, mm-hmm. and everything has come out, you know, to help this. Is there anybody on the stage that you haven't seen that you're looking forward to see on the weekend for uh, the, the Metal Fest? I would say Devil in the Darkness, just because, man, you know, we're good buddies with them, too, but we've never actually gotten to see them play or, you know, done a show with them, you know, and uh, we love those dudes, and so I'd say... Probably, probably them, you know, and, and I love Left in Despair. Those kids are great, man. You know, they are young, but when they're my age, man, they're going to be ripping it up, dude. They're going to surpass us. But, yeah, they're, uh, it's going to be some good bands. I'm looking forward to all of them. I'm coming up on Friday. I'm staying for the duration. Okay. So. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of your music that you've got out. I've, you got an EP that uh, got brought in tonight. Yeah, and, um, it's called A Taste of Brutality, and it was recorded in Louisville at ARC Studios with John Mattingly. Okay. And uh, he's an awesome, awesome guy. He knows his stuff, so everybody check him out. And um, five songs. Um, 
like I said, it's called a taste of brutality. And, I mean, it's brutal. It's what it's all about. You know, it's just about feeling the energy, man. And just yeah. when you get through listening to it, you're just like, oh, I'm freaking pumped, man. Just, oh. I mean, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's right, raw man. emotion, man. Just raw feeling. I like to describe it as the truth. So. I hope the devil sells. Leave you on that note. What is it about? It's about hoping that a certain substance is in hell once we make it there. If that's where we go, or whatever. But I don't know. If if if, if he ain't selling the good stuff, I'm, I don't want to go. I don't plan on going there. So I mean, no, I'm just, like, no. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, I, I'm it's trying to hold my believe. sense to a minimum. <laughs> it's make believe. It's not real. We're you know we're not satanic or anything like that. It's all fun and games. You got to put on a show, man. You got to put on a show, right? That is correct. And Metal Fest 4 going on and uh, 67 different bands playing lots of different venues around the area. You can support the Jimmy Fee Foundation for coming out and checking out some of these clubs. I've had actually a couple of these bands in, in previous weeks that they're playing actually some of these different venues for this. So, Well, it's good. You know, it's good to hear that the local scene's out there doing things like we're doing tonight, you know, because, and, I, and that's why I appreciate you so much, Axe, because this is a local thing. You know, I don't, I don't work with a whole lot of nationals and a lot of it has to do with money, but, you know, these guys here, they come out and they play their heart and soul out like they are nationals. That's why when they come to the Boondocks, they're having 220 by 20s out there like a national supposed to have the best sound man you know i can find for an outdoor event i'm trying to give these guys a great show for this you know what i mean yeah so and 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 if if by chance people you don't want to come out to the show okay but you want to help me in my fight and remembering jeremy no which a lot of you listeners are going to remember jeremy he was right. a great guy a good friend a lot of the a lot of the town but uh you know write a check out to the jimmy v foundation okay you don't have to even put my name don't i don't just at the bottom right for Jeremy No Cancer Fighting Weekend and send it to them directly. You know, it's all about showing us gathering together. Jeremy's just the one holding this flag up here for us to gather at. So But there's a lot of people holding the flag of cancer. I mean that's that's that's, it's that's everywhere. That's everywhere. And and you know, I put my name, my friend's name at the top of that page, but I this is about everybody's Jeremy No story. It's about everybody's cancer friend that has, mm-hmm. has suffered and gone through this. You know, we're here to fight back for them. You know, so, you know, let's not forget the victims and the people that are still fighting and the ones that have survived, like Bo's mom here, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. have fought this thing. we got to stand proud and fight for them. So. All right. Let's check out Grandshaw. I hope the devil sells. Yeah! We're going to wrap it up with that. It is uh, Locals Only, Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 107.3 The Point. Thank you all for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you.